Today we're going to go over setting up your NIST and AMDIS libraries on your HAPSITE ERIQ software. The first thing you need to do is locate that you have your NIST library and you're going to place that into your ERIQ folder on the C drive. So here I am going to my C drive, my ERIQ folder, and I have my NIST 14 folder placed right here. Yours might be a little different, you might have NIST 07 or NIST 05, an older version or a newer version, but just make sure that that folder is in your ERIQ drive. Once that's there, let's open up our ERIQ software, and we're going to have to set our access level so that we can change some of these settings. That'll be under Tools, up here at the top bar, Set Access Level, and make sure that's going to be in Advanced. Now that we're in Advanced mode, we're going to first set up our NIST library. So we'll go back to Tools, we'll go to System Properties, then to Miscellaneous, and you have these four drop-downs over to the right. Make sure that they all match up with what I have over here. Uh, the first two, I think, are automatically set up when you install the software, but these next two are your NIST program path and your AMDIS program path. That'll be under Browse. See it's ERIQ, NIST 14, so you're selecting the whole folder. And then on the next one for your AMDIS, you're selecting a subset of that same NIST 14 folder, your AMDIS 32 library. Now that that's set up, I need to go to Data Review and further set up my NIST. So I'm going to open up a sample. So I'm going to do Sample E. Doesn't matter which data file you open up as long as you're opening up a data file. And you can go to Data Review here at the top. Once you've clicked Data Review, go to configure, Configurations, and you have this drop down over here. Um, make sure that yours latch up with mine. So NIST User Library will be the first one set up. This is ERIQ, NIST User Library, User 1. And then the next three are going to come from your NIST 14 library. So the first one I put NIST 14 main library, NIST 14 replicate library, NIST 14 user library. These should all already be contained within your NIST software. And while you're here, you can also look at your AMDIS path. So here I have C, ERIQ, NIST 14, AMDIS 32 set up right here. There's one more step if you're needing to set up your AMDIS, and that's to actually go into AMDIS. If that program pathway is set up correctly, it should open something that looks like this, although it may not populate chemicals for you just yet. Um, to get it to do that, I'll hit my Confirm button over on the left right here. And this is opening up the detailed AMDIS program. I'll go to Analyze, Settings, and then my Library over here. I've seen a couple computers, whenever it has your target library compounds already set up, it generates a pathway right here. So C drive, ERIQ, search libraries, and then I have HAPSITE MSL as my library that's actually searching. There's a couple different ones people used. Some people use the NIST EPA.MSL library, um, however I use the HAPSITE.MSL. Uh, this could be set up incorrectly, so if you have this and it looks correct but it's not opening it up, Make sure that it says ERIQ right here. I've had a couple people use this Smart Plus software and it just generates ERIQ anyway, but that folder destination doesn't exist, so they have to manually select it um, from wherever they placed their search libraries. That should be all, and now whenever you try and run your NIST report or your AMDIS report, you'll have something like this for AMDIS. Let's go back into our ERIQ, and now if I select the peak, I can select search NIST slash user, and then it generates a hit right here. Thank you.